Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Bree and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to talk about how to save money as a millennial and how to find more money in your budget. These are just some of the things that I have been learning along the way. And let's get into today's video. So I know it can be hard to find extra money within your budget. So I am going to talk about the things that have helped me along the way. I am definitely not a financial advisor, but these are some of the things that I have learned dealing with budgeting and money. The first thing that I have learned is to buy consciously. Now to me, buying consciously is to think about what it is that you are buying and ask yourself, is this something that I can wear or utilize more than once. For example, if I am at the mall, if there is something that I like and I think is really cute, I try to ask myself, I really like this shirt, but is it a way that I can style this at least five times? And I definitely try to think about what I have in my closet, what things that I can incorporate into the mix to make it into five different outfits. And if it's definitely something that I can work with and make it more than one outfit, and that definitely helps you cut down on buying just random clothes or random pieces that you said at the moment that it's really cute, but then you realize that you didn't really have nothing to go with it in the first place. So definitely buying consciously is one way that will help you to save money. So the second thing that you can do to help you save money is with thrifting. Thrift shopping has definitely become my thing. Thrifting is what we usually say secondhand stores, but you really can find some hidden gems. I know where I live at is roughly a small size town and we don't really have any thrift stores here. So there really aren't more options for me, but when I go over to a different city, I definitely try to look into the thrift stores that they have in that city and try to look at how they are. And if I like some things, I will simply pick out the things that I like. Online thrift shopping really to me is very expensive. Now I understand with some eco-friendly brands that their clothes can be a little bit more on the pricier side because they always advertise about the quality of their clothes, the material is made from. So some of the stores that I have seen online and that I've bought things from are from Goodwill. They have stores across the nation. You can also order clothes online, Poshmark. You just have to kind of be careful on maybe what you buy from there, but they are definitely a online resource that you can use to buy secondhand or thrifty things from. There's this one other store that I've just recently discovered and it is by Felicia Faulkner, I believe that's how you say her name. She is also a YouTuber on here and ran across her channel on my recommended. I checked her out and she promote positivity on her platform and living a conscious lifestyle. And I noticed she had a store and I checked out her store and I bought an item off of there. I think her store is a really good store to look into. It is FeliciaFaulkner.com. I am going to link her store in the description box below where you can check out the pieces she have and also link her YouTube channel down below. I think you guys should definitely check her out. So moving along, the next thing that you can do to help budget and to save money is to prioritize. Instead of spending money on your wants first, definitely think about the things that have to be taken care of first. Now, everybody's priorities are different as far as what they have to take care of. Everybody's living condition isn't the same. The things that I think that are important and that you should take care of first and not in any specific order is rent, transportation, whether you have your own vehicle or you rely on cabs or different transportation services to get you to and from, groceries, cell phone, 
and paying your tithes and also insurance which is car insurance health insurance those are the things i think that i would prioritize and i do prioritize first but that may be different for you or to someone else just depending on the condition that they're in so definitely prioritizing and managing the money that you have when you get paid is the way to go also what has helped me is bullet journaling now this is my bullet journal here and i have showed it on my channel before i believe but i definitely like to bullet journal um, i'm gonna show you for example how i set it up and i am not an aesthetic designer or anything i keep everything minimalistic but this is pretty much how it starts out so it's like an introduction of the month and then I have my calendar here. Usually I just plan out like what bills I have due, any expenses coming up. And also now I definitely try to allocate my expenses for the month. And I just try to check off what things I have taken care of, my bills and expenses. And also write down how much money I'm putting towards my sinking funds. That way I can keep track of how much I'm putting in in each paycheck. So bullet journaling definitely has helped me with budgeting. It may not work for you, but it works for me. When I see it on paper, it definitely helps me out rather than just seeing it on my phone. So those are pretty much all of the tips I have today that can help you save money and budgeting. If you guys have any other tips that you guys would like to suggest, just leave them in the comments box below and I will see you guys in my next video. And don't forget to be kind to one another. I've learned that if we think negative, we will not grow 